Hi, I'm Lucy DeVito, star of the Hulu series Deadbeat. In the early days of television, some topics were considered too taboo to portray on screen, even if they were common in real life. Many popular shows in the 1950s and 60s had married couples sleep in separate beds to avoid any implication of sex. In one episode of I Love Lucy, Lucy announced she was pregnant without saying the word pregnant, because that was too risque. Roughly a decade later, I Dream of Jeannie featured a woman with a bare midriff, but executives demanded she cover her belly button because it was too provocative. Even normal bodily functions were over the line. When Leave It to Beaver wanted to show a toilet, CBS only let them use shots of the tank. The bathroom in the Brady Bunch didn't even have a toilet, and we had to wait until 1971 to hear the first toilet flush on TV during All in the Family. And that toilet was still off screen. Compared to this, we've come pretty far. From sex and pregnancy, to violence and profanity, to race and sexuality, TV has certainly evolved. But some important topics are still taboo, like abortion. This is Dr. Willie Parker, OBGYN and chair of the Board of Physicians of Reproductive Health. He works for reproductive justice and provides abortion care throughout the southern United States. Nearly one in four American women will have an abortion by age 45, but this common procedure is often over-dramatized and inaccurately shown on TV. Since the dawn of television, there have been over 400 plot lines about abortion. The most common plot lines feature young, single, middle, or upper-class white women who don't want children because of school or work. A 2014 study revealed that a whopping 90% of characters considering abortions are white. But in America, white women make up less than 40% of those who get abortions, while 55% are women of color. And while over 80% of abortion stories are about middle or upper class women, the truth is nearly the opposite. Three fourths of American women who choose abortion are low income. More than 60% are already mothers and 40% terminate their pregnancy because of financial reasons. TV shows also over-dramatize the decision to get an abortion and make it seem more dangerous than it actually is. Most women who make the choice are certain about it often more certain than those making other healthcare decisions, such as getting knee surgery. For nearly 99% of American women, abortion is a safe and complication-free experience, unlike on TV, where 10% of the characters die from the procedure. Legal abortions in the U.S. are actually 14 times safer than childbirth. You just wouldn't know it if you turned on the television. In truth, trying to get abortion care is the real drama. Almost 60% of American women of reproductive age live in states hostile to abortion rights with anti-abortion laws or a lack of providers. And in seven states, there's only one abortion clinic. Other hurdles include long travel distances and steep costs. TV programs rarely show these obstacles, and when they do, the characters usually overcome them easily. So why do we care how TV portrays abortion? Because TV has the power to shape our worldview. Studies show it can specifically affect how we understand health issues. If what we see on the screen is wrong or misleading, it can lead to misguided fears and decisions based on falsehoods. For example, most abortion patients think that the procedure is more dangerous than it really is. Television can help set the record straight with more accurate storylines. For perceptions about abortions to change, there must be more consistent and honest plot lines about it. There are over 400 TV series currently airing, giving the entertainment industry plenty of opportunities to depict abortion as it actually is, a safe, legal, and common procedure. If programs can get the facts right, they will dispel false myths, shatter taboos, and help enlighten viewers. So? So who will lead the charge? If you want to write about abortion, contact Hollywood Health and Society.